Excellencies, distinguished speakers and guests, ladies and gentlemen, it gives me a great pleasure to convey to you the greetings and best wishes of His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Zayed Al Nahyan, Crown Prince of Abu Dhabi and Deputy Supreme Commander of the Armed Forces. Welcome to the UAE. With, the, with his support and encouragement, we welcome you again to the United Arab Emirates and Abu Dhabi as a distinguished group of influential political, economic, and business leaders. You honor us with your presence here today. We know that uh, we will learn from you at this conference, just as we have already learned from your accomplishments and your vision in government, economics, business, and world affairs. Your presence in Abu Dhabi underscores the city's importance in world affairs <clears throat> and the global economy. It clearly reflects the prominent place of the United Arab Emirates among the nations of the world. Our greatest fortune in Abu Dhabi and the UAE has been that our leaders are people of wisdom and vision. We are deeply indebted to our founding president, the late Sheikh Zayed bin Sultan Al Nahyan, for his great foresight and leadership. <clears throat> his wise and inspiring vision made the UAE a country of progress, prosperity, and stability. Our national leaders have continued to recognize the need for sustainable development and change and especially pertinent to your gathering here today, I take special pleasure in welcoming you to a city that's moving swiftly from good to great. Abu Dhabi has sized its opportunities and became a truly global city, not only a center for finance, business, education, health, technology and culture, but also a nurturing source of innovation and creativity that promises to benefit the whole world. His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Zayed Al Nahyan has carefully fixed the goals toward which Abu Dhabi is moving and has formulated the methods for most effectively reaching those goals. It is with his guidance that Abu Dhabi is moving forward with a deliberate strategies to maintain vigorous growth, to create prosperity for all, and to bring together people, government, private, and public institutions to create a vibrant and balanced society. We are proud that this city and the country are showing the world that people from different nations, different ethnicities, different religions, and different cultures can, in fact, live and work together in peace and harmony. We have shown that there is a valuable uh, dividend associated with tolerance and peaceful coexistence. Countries that value tolerance are generally more peaceful countries that have lower costs of doing business and have higher workforce uh, moral. Those countries are also typically safer, more productive, 
and have more resources dedicated to useful economic activities. In addition, tolerant societies with open and welcoming attitudes to new ideas develop cultures that are conducive to innovation, creativity, and knowledge development. These societies generally make a more successful transition to the knowledge-based economy and society demand, uh, what society demanded today. As a result of our tolerance, the United Arab Emirates enjoys unparalleled economic growth accompanied by social and political stability while constantly bordering opportunities for our country's citizens and res residents alike. It is my sincere hope to see a similar description applied to all countries of the world. Yet regional and global conditions continues to challenge this hope. The absence of tolerance persists sometimes from lack of understanding, at other times from a deliberate intent to misrepresent and mislead. We see how extremism feeds on failure and pessimism and produce intolerance, and how reform and economic prosperity inspire confidence and realistic hopes for a better future. Distinguished, distinguished guests, friends and colleagues, the agenda you have before you contains issues vital to the future, not just for those at this conference, but indeed for the whole world. I know that you will uh, spend time considering some global wicked problems. By their nature, wicked problems are tricky and ill-defined, yet some of them, such as the climate change, poses existential threats to the world as we know it today. Your presence here signals your resolve to understand the enormous problems we all face. You aim to increase and deepen your knowledge. My experience tells me that the acquisition of knowledge demands awareness, understanding, interpretation, evaluation, and theorizing. We acquire knowledge because we seek meaning. Knowledge is a necessary step towards wisdom. And with wisdom, we can negotiate and navigate the global society that we have become. I strongly believe that will be our knowledge and wisdom that allow us to harness the great potential of Expo 2020 Dubai that started today. We, have striving, we are striving to ensure that this World Expo, the first in our region, is not only a spectacular event, but also a powerful unifier and an effective platform for forging international cooperation and global partnerships. Expo 2020 Dubai will be an opportunity to reinforce our conviction that the challenges facing the world are not limited by national borders. Together and through our collective knowledge and wisdom, we will promote a culture of tolerance that will unite us in the spirit of the Expo's theme of 
connecting minds, creating the future. It will also be the knowledge and wisdom displayed here in the World Policy Conference that will help our global communities whether any economic, social, or, or uh, political uh, turbulence. As you expand, sharpen, and deepen your knowledge of global issues, you are developing the capacity for the wisdom that our world desperately needs. Wisdom can be ours, and it will be our wisdom that will help resolve international co uh, conflicts and disputes. It will also be our wisdom that creates a knowledge economy and a knowledge society that accounts for the well-being of all citizens, not just the enrichment of a privileged few. It will be our wisdom that improves education so that all can contribute effectively to a knowledge-based economy. It is our wisdom that recognizes the moral imperative for improving the health and safety of all communities. It will be our wisdom that helps us deal effectively with critical and environmental wicked problems, such as climate change, waste management, recycling, portable water, and renewable energy. It will be our wisdom that persevere, uh, preserve the strengths of our traditional cultures and nurtures our natural moral affinities with, others, with other cultures and peoples. It will be our wisdom that allows us to accept reasonable risk as we advance scientific research and entrepreneurial innovation. It will be our wisdom that enables cooperation, creativity, understanding, and mutual support that help us face the challenges posed by the COVID-19 pandemic. It will be our wisdom that fosters an optimistic outlook on the future of our world, a future that holds peaceful coexistence and prosperity for all. And it will also be the knowledge and wisdom shared in this World Policy Conference that highlights the pivotal role of leadership in building the future. Successful leaders, for our, successful leaders for our age must be innovative, but fair, steady, alert, courageous, knowledgeable, and wise. Together, and through our collective wisdom, we must reaffirm our conviction that we all live and work in an interconnected world. We must all work together to create and preserve a world order that promotes peace, hope, understanding, stability, cooperation, and prosperity for all. I would like to extend my thanks to the marvelous Evett, my dear Theorem, who organized this prestigious conference, the collective wisdom you are developing and sharing is important to creating a better future for all of us. Ladies and gentlemen, dear guests, let me conclude by noting that the UAE is celebrating 
its golden jubilee this year. We are determined in the next 50 years to expand our success in bringing together private and public institutions, nationals and expatriates alike, regional and international partners to create a vibrant, balanced and peaceful society which is focused on improving the quality of life for all our people. We are, we are intent on doubling our efforts of, force, of focusing on prolonged, inclusive and sustainable development. We will emphasize the role of community leaders, thinkers and innovators in shaping our future. We will continue with our commitment to regional and international peace and cooperation. We will always strive to integrate the knowledge and the wisdom we gain to build a better future for all. My best wishes to you for a successful and productive conference. Thank you and God bless you all. Thank you.